Hi everyone, welcome to the Simply Learn YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about booming topic of this era, multimodal AI. Let's understand with an example. Imagine you are showing a friend your vacation photos. You might describe the sight you saw, the sounds you heard, and even your emotions. This is how humans naturally understand the world by combining information from different sources. Multimodal AI aims to do the same thing. Let's break the model AI first. Multimodal refers to two different ways of communicating. Information like text, speech, images, and videos, where AI stands for artificial intelligence, which are systems that can learn and make decisions. So multimodal AI is a type of AI that can process and understand information from multiple sources, just like you do when you look at your vacation photos. Before delving more into multimodal AI, so here is a just quick info for you. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. If you want to switch careers with AI and ML, then try giving Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and machine learning from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. This course teaches in-demand skills such as machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision, reinforcement learning, generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, and many more. So don't forget to check out the course link from the description box and pin comment. Now that we have understood what is multimodal AI, let's now go a bit further. It is obvious that multimodal AI is not the only AI out there. But what is big deal about multimodal AI that everyone is talking about? That is what we will discuss in this segment. So now let's understand the difference between multimodal AI and the generative AI. While both multimodal AI and generative AI have exciting advancement in AI, they differ in their approach to data and functionality. So generative AI. Focus creates new data similar to the data it's trained on. And in multimodal AI, focus is to understand and processes information from multiple sources that is text, speech, images, and videos. Data types of generative AI are primarily works with a single data type like text, writing poems or images that is generating realistic portraits. Whereas in multimodal AI, data types works with diverse data types, enabling a more comprehensive understanding of the world. The third one is examples like chatbots, text generation models, image editing tools. Whereas multimodal AI example covers virtual assistants, medical diagnosis system, and autonomous vehicles. Strengths are can produce creative and innovative content, automated repetitive tasks, and personalize your experience. Whereas in multimodal AI, strengths are provides a more human-like understanding of the world and improve accuracy. In essence, generative AI excels at creating new data, while multimodal AI excels at understanding and utilizing existing data from diverse sources. They can be complementary with generative models being used to create new data for multimodal AI systems to learn more from and improve their understanding to the world. Next, let's understand what are the benefits of multimodal AI. The benefits of multimodal AI is that it offers developers and users an AI with more advanced reasoning, problem solving, and generation capabilities. These advancements offers endless possibilities for how next generation application can change the way we work and live. For developers looking to start building Vortex AI Gemini API offers features such as enterprise security, data residency, performance, and technical support. If your existing Google Cloud customers can start prompting with Gemini AI in Vortex AI right now. Next, let's see what are the multimodal AI big challenges. Multimodal AI is powerful but faces hurdles. The first one is data overload. Managing and storing massive diverse data is expensive and complex. The second one is meaning mystery. Teaching AI to understand subtle difference in between meaning like sarcasm is tricky. The third one is data alignment. Ensuring data points from different sources saying in tune is challenging. The fourth one is data scarcity. Limited and potentially biased data sets hinder effective training. The fifth one is missing data blues. What happens when data is missing, like distorted audio? The last one is 
black box blues understanding how ai makes decision can be difficult so these challenges must be addressed to unlock the full potential of model ai next let's see what is the future of multimodal ai and why is it important multimodal ai and multimodals are represent a leap forward in how developers build and expand the functionality of ai in the next generation of application for example gemini can understand explain and generate high quality code in the world's most popular programming languages like python java c++ and go freeing developers to work on building more featured field application multimodal's ai potential also bring the world closer to ai that's less like smart software and more like an expert helper or assistant with this we have come to end of this video if you have any questions regarding this video please feel free to ask in the comment section below our team of experts will reach out to you as soon as possible thank you for watching till then stay safe and keep learning with simply learn Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.